Hello, and welcome to this tutorial on how to collect Windows JSON logs for Sumo Logic once you have an installed collector set up. We are here to help you set up a Windows JSON source in Sumo Logic so you can take advantage of our app for it. This app is for events coming from Windows event log sources in JSON format. It does not work with third party logs. Standard Windows event channels include Security, System, Application. Custom event channels such as Windows PowerShell or Internet Explorer can be ingested as well. Today, we are only going through an installed collector. We will cover the remote collector in a different video. As soon as you have a collector installed on your Windows machine, you can begin setting up a source of data to send to Sumo Logic. Let's choose a local Windows event source to keep things simple and collect local events you would normally see in the Windows event viewer. In future tutorials, we set up a remote source to give us the freedom to collect from multiple remote systems. From the home page, click Manage Data and then Collection. Choose your installed Windows collector from the collection page. Click Add and then choose Add Source from the pop up. Under Windows Sources, select Windows Event Logs and choose Local for type of Windows source. Be sure to name your source something logical and intuitive to you so that you can find it again easily. The description is optional. Now you need to create a tag for the output of data from this source to tag in the metadata called the source category. This is the default field for assigning data when you install a Sumo Logic app, our end goal. Specify a logical source category name so that you will be able to find what you need in your searches later. You can specify useful information in the source category such as environment, geographic information, business unit, application name, log type. Here are some examples of Windows Events JSON logs. For event format, you must select Collect using JSON format so that events are formatted into JSON that is designed to work with Sumo Logic features, making it easier for you to reference your data. By default, all three standard event types are enabled for logging security, application, and system, and we recommend leaving all of these events enabled. You can select additional custom events depending on your needs, but we'll skip those for now and go with the defaults. You will also be able to choose how much of the messages you send to Sumo Logic through the event collection level. Choose complete message so that you will have all the necessary data for the pre-built application dashboards and searches. Security identifiers. You can choose to bring in security identifiers that allow for a security ID field in your log messages. You can choose to just show the ID or the username or both. For now, we'll stick with the default of username only. Choose when the collection should begin. In this case, we'll go back 24 hours in time, although you could choose as much as 30 days of logs to ingest. 1. I'd like to see the source is set up properly. And 2. It's better to only ingest the data you need. Click Save to save your Windows JSON source. Check to make sure your source is green on the Manage Collection page. This indicates that you're ready to install your Windows JSON app. Return to the App Catalog and select Windows. Be sure to select JSON in the drop-down next to the Add to Library button. Click Add to Library. Add your source category. And click Add to Library to install the JSON app. Let's validate the source by checking the source category in a query window. From the Home tab, select Plus New and select Log Search. In the query bar, select source category is equal to and enter your source category name. Type in underscore source category is equal to Windows slash event slash JSON. You will see log messages return in JSON format. Thank you for watching.